they're right out ahead. Oh, my word. It is opening day at the Wilds in Cumberland, Ohio. We've been here before. In fact, my original video from this place is my most watched video at this point. But we're gonna see what we can find today. What's new, what's fresh, not a hot time of the year. Let's see what we can find out today. In fact, I'm pretty curious what it'll be like with it being a cooler time, because boy, when it's hot, I was here in July and August, I think the two times I've been here, you know, sometimes the animals are looking to chill a little when it's that hot. So maybe they're a little more active. Day one, last tour of the day four o'clock, which was not originally there. So when I got on, I was like, oh no, I missed it. I'm still able to get it. So let's see what we have with those things in mind. Well, I guess one benefit of the tour guide's microphone not being too loud is I can talk plenty loud and you're not gonna be able to hear her. But a uh, nice shot of the Persian onagers with a lake in the background or pond, whatever, whatever they call that one. And one, two, three, all three of them. They added a third one this past year past off season and they're all visible, a little farther away, not too bad. Hanging out over there. They all look pretty similar. What is it? So we came down to feed the catfish and they weren't much biting or whatnot. But over here we can see down near the lake is a bunch of the talking, which I've never seen up close. And this is a long way of zooming. But they're over there. Maybe we'll see them from the, from the safari bus thing, but in case we don't, and once again, with the red crowned cranes, which are out in all their glory, a friend nibbling on, uh, nibbling on their food, getting in on the snacks over here. Well, I think I got lucky with one of these in here, got it to land on my hand, but it's kind of hard to record when a bird's on your hand. By the time I got it in the other hand, she flew away. Oh well. All right, so this is literally as close as I've ever been to the talk, and, and yet you're still not getting a great view. Basically him eating right there. There's one chilling right there. You can kind of see his horns just barely poking up right there, but it looks like it's the best we're gonna get. All right, this is the closest definitely we've ever seen these bad boys. Look at them right up on the edge. African painted dogs. Ooh, yeah. And chilling in the sun. Look at that. <laughs> Meanwhile, on this side, Mr. Cheetah is on the move. Oh, he's going to the shade, you know, on such a hot day. And now he's relaxing right there. Oh, and now the other part of the crew, oh, they popped up initially when they heard us coming because we're at the front of the pack. But this pack is in chill mode. That's for sure. But they're right here, nice and close. Once you get up here and get close to the to the building here, maybe they'll wake up a little once more people have walked by. Oh, look there. It's raising the heads, the most we're getting right now. Okay, like in unison, one popped up and a bunch lifted their heads, and I'm not sure what made them do that, but it looks like they're about to, okay, never mind. No concern. Oh, and apparently a nice close view of this guy too, yeah. What is he? It's a dole. Remember? Look at that. Right there, he's uh, gnawing or digging around for something. Oops, sorry, I kind of got off. I was looking at my eyes, not at the camera. Huh. Oh, he's crunching on something. You could hear that crack. I don't know how we missed this in our walking down below, but there's a cheetah right there. Laying down right there. Along with multiple others up there, but that one was a lot closer. Eh, maybe here's a better spot to see him from. Look at that. Eh, see, you noticed us. We appreciate you noticing us. As opposed to just the adverse of that. Midpoint assessment of a May 1st trip to the wilds. One, uh, our tour guide's microphone is not staying very close to our mouth. I'm not sure it's a May 1st thing, but that's more just this trip. So you don't quite get everything that's being set up there, which is a little disappointing. And also it seemed like through that first pasture where normally you see the greater one horned rhino, the Asian rhino, the one that looks like it has armor, uh, wasn't there. I'm not sure if they delay putting that one out until the weather is surely warm enough for that. I saw a clip on their Instagram page that they were letting out the white rhinos. So those should be coming in the moments ahead. I hope it is. 
Uh, but meanwhile, to this point, it is nice. Normally when you get to the mid-sized carnivore center, like you're already hot and like, <laughs> like depleted, which is not very long into the tour because it's just so hot in July and August. So it is nice at this point taking this whole stroll and not too bad yet. So hopefully we'll still be able to see all the rest of the animals. I think they should be out on this, which is like a 65-ish day with a little breeze, but a nice sun. Certainly has its perks relative to an August trip. Ooh, this is a lot closer than normal for the zebras. Even they said so. Wonder how close we'll get or if they're gonna try to scatter. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah, they're, they're stepping away a little bit. But otherwise, they're. Oh, look at all of them, Colin. Is that cool or what? They're right there. Oh, this guy's really right there. Getting a little shake. And then taking his distance away. We've got a tiny little oryx. Like days. Here we go. Oh, he was just running a little bit. Let's see if we can get him on the move a tiny little more. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's funny. Look at that little guy. Oh, 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 oh. That's something. Well, apparently the giraffes are not out yet. I don't know if it's because it's still a little cool and they can't go back inside once they let them out or what, but at this point, no giraffes yet. Oh boy, good news. Looks like the rhinos are right off the path. We're in the rhino pasture. Let's see when we get close. Yeah, pretty close indeed. Let's see, uh, I don't know where we're gonna stop at. But apparently there's some babies here. There are three babies born this past winter. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. They are right off this stinking path. They're going to be hanging. You're fine, Annie. Stay right here. Oh, my word. They're going to have to, like, move. They're, like, they're going to have to get out of our way. I think they feel. Look at them, Colin. Look, they're right out ahead. Oh, my word. I don't know. Annie, here. Oh boy. Oh man. Yeah, you don't want to get in the way of that guy. Look at them. They're saying, we'll run over here. Three there. Oh, look at that horn. Look at that horn, Annie. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, look at the baby. Kind of hard, he's kind of in the shadow there. Baby, stop, stop, stop. Wow. This, I'd say, is, uh, is, uh, this is the price of admission right here. Surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rhinos. Yeah, I'd say that's, oh, look at that little guy. They're kind of like, oh, man. Yeah, that is something. Look at that. Oh boy. And then two of the babies up here. That is something. Pretty cool. That's a substantial little herd hanging out nearby. Combination of a Bactrian deer and uh, some common elands. Oh, well, there's the elands there. A little, a little neck action and different horns, antlers, rather. Ooh, if this gets closer, if we're able to get closer without them walking off. Never been this close to the male ones. Ah, yeah. Now, of course, the sun, where it is, is uh, casting a bit of a shadow. Yeah, they got velvet on the antler, and they are shedding their winter coats. They're looking a little homely. But otherwise, pretty cool. So my quick assessment is that it's very similar to coming in the summer, except that the temperature is a lot cooler, which does make a big difference. A few animals that we didn't see, and that can happen anytime, so I'm not sure if it's because they weren't out yet, or if it's just because we just couldn't see them wherever they were. Saw some a little closer than, whenever, than we've seen before, kind of like the talking and whatnot, but the rhino, the white rhinos was worth the price of admission. Like you, that, that's what you're going for. You're going for at least one thing that's really close or a lot different than the time before. And I say the price of admission, which is just like a slight upgrade from your Columbus Zoo membership. Be able to come and then it's free just to come however many times you want during the year. So pretty cool, definitely interesting. 
hope that was that was neat and at least now you know a little bit of what to expect on opening day at the wilds we'll catch you next time on escape to the zoo